A new school for students in recovery now has its first class of students. Heartland High School is focused on teaching teens with substance abuse problems. NBC4 reporter Ted Hart is live tonight on East Broad Street with a look inside Ohio's first and only recovery high school. Ted. Yeah, Heartland High School is uh, located here inside the Broad Street Presbyterian Church. It's been a few years uh, in the making and classes finally started last week and there are high hopes for its future. Gavin is one of 10 students in the first class at Heartland High School. He loves it. You're just surrounded by good energy. Gavin says he was 15 when he overdosed and realized he needed help. Heartland, Ohio's first recovery high school, gives him an alternative to going back into his old environment. Being around here, being around people that's not around drugs is also affecting me outside of here. I'm not running around with any of my old friends that used to smoke weed and do all that. It's our biology or world history, one of those two. Heartland is a private, nonprofit high school with room to grow to about 30 students. The idea is to give students struggling with substance abuse a safe environment away from the stressors and peer pressure at their old high schools. Staff member Jen Bellamy knows the journey firsthand. She started using drugs at the age of 15. I didn't get clean until I was 26 years old. And so from 15 to 26, I struggled because there wasn't any kind of support. And I did get, get sent back to the same environment, same kids, same situation over and over again. And so I, it, it was impossible. Bellamy believes the 10 students in this inaugural class have already bonded and started looking out for each other. There is positive peer pressure. Heartland becomes one of about 40 recovery high schools around the country. Research suggests students who attend a recovery high school are far less likely to relapse and more likely to eventually graduate. If we can get them coming out of treatment and then get them, funnel them into like a recovery high school right away, you're going to see much more success. And other recovery high schools around the country are seeing, seeing success. And Heartland High School will receive some state funding from the governor's budget commitment to student wellness and addiction. Beyond that, though, it relies on tuition payments and charitable contributions. Local for you and live on the east side, Ted Hart, NBC4. All right, Ted, thank you.